Hello guys, welcome to NextGen Learning. I am Sijesh. This video we will see how to deploy a virtual machine using gcloud command. So in previous video, I have explained how to download and install Google SDK to manage Google Cloud resources. If you have not watched that video, so I request you to watch that before watching this. So first step, we need to uh, log into the Google Cloud account using gcloud command. I'm using the command g uh, here like gcloud auth login iPhone iPhone no iPhone launch iPhone browser. Again, this no launch option, no launch browser option is not mandatory. So you can skip this, but in that case, it will automatically try to open your browser or default browser and try to authenticate. But if you use no launch browser option, and this is useful if you are using an environment where graphics is not supported, but still you want to connect to your Google Cloud environment. So in no launch browser option, so you will get a string here. So you need to copy that string and paste it in your browser. And then you will get a verification code. That code you need to paste here. So let's copy this. And uh, entire string I need to copy. Okay. So just copy this. And uh, let me just open uh, my browser. And uh, I'm just pasting that string here and choose my account and uh, allow so that's it so now you will get a string use this option to copy that and uh, back to your terminal paste that then enter so now we are connected to google cloud using this account and you can see our current project detail and all Okay. So if you want to choose some other project, so you can reset these project settings and all. I think I have explained in that in the previous video. Please watch that also. So now we can use gcloud compute option to deploy a new virtual machine. So we will see that. I just saved my uh, commands. So I'm using gcloud compute instances. So this is the common option if you want to do anything with the Google Compute Engine. That means virtual machine. So you need to use this option gcloud compute instances. I'm going to create a new instance. So use this create option and instance iPhone name. That is the name of the instance which I'm going to create. If you want something else, you can use that. So the machine type is the hardware configuration which I'm going to choose. So E2 iPhone Micro is the uh, the small size vm and again the cost depends on the size so this is a relatively lower end machine the zone is the place where i want to deploy my resource so zone is the data center in under a region so i'm using under us central iphone b you can choose any location whatever the location near to you and preemptible, no restart on failure and uh, maintenance policy. So I'll explain this later and uh, understand the image family and image project. So this is also, I will explain in uh, later in detail, but this will tell you uh, just which operating system image we want to choose for deploying this VM. So let's trigger this installation. So now if we just back to here under VM instance you can see that instance deployment is in progress so maybe it take a few minutes depending on the machine size and all now you can see we are back to the uh, console terminal so that means this deployment is completed so you can see the instance details the zone where it's installed then type of the instance and it's internal and external IP and its status. So now back to the Google Cloud Console. You can see this green icon. That means this is instance is running and this is its name and the zone and the same details displayed here. So we can just use gcloud compute 
instances list so this will list all the available uh, Google Cloud compute instance running on this particular project okay and it will list that so de definitely it will list the same thing like uh, the instance name so on name then IP address all those things okay and uh, if you want to uh, uh, get much more detailed view you can just use describe then whatever the instance name instance iPhone 1 so this will give you a detailed view like uh, so complete detailed view okay you can just go through this detail later but this is our virtual machine then instances so instead of describe we can just use SSH so SSH will try to log into this machine uh, sorry uh, for SSH we don't need this instance option so we can just use this option gcloud compute SSH instance then under we are getting a pop-up with this putty open just hit yes you can see we are uh, log into this machine so this is the host name you can see this is instance one and uh, we are here okay I'm just uh, exiting the connection so that's it and instances if I want to stop this instance I can use this gcloud compute instances stop then that particular instance detail so now you can see the instance is getting stopped okay so maybe it take a few more seconds to shut down so once this is shut down then the control will be back to the terminal so that's it now this is shut down you can just see that vm is in stop state again if, if you just want to start it so instead of stop you can just use start to start this particular instance so use gcloud compute instances start whatever the instance name then again uh, here you can you can see from stop to starting state okay that is start then uh, okay once you are testing and everything is over you want to terminate you can just use this option to delete okay so gcloud compute instances delete whatever the instance then it will ask you uh, for a confirmation so once confirmed then it will start this deletion process so the deletion process uh, will delete that particular uh, virtual machine instance from our cloud environment okay so we'll see here so you can see that deletion uh, soon uh, the instance okay maybe we'll just refresh so that's it it's gone so that's it about the commands so hope you you are very clear on this you can use gcloud compute instances to uh, create a new virtual machine start stop then uh, connecting to ssh then even for terminating thank you for watching this video uh, again if you like this video so please give me a like and positive comment so that will always keep me motivated and again if you are not subscribed so please do subscribe thank you bye